Russia's 2024 champion. All right, welcome to back to the podcast, man. What a what a podcast we have here, man. Uh, uh, unbelievable uh, night tonight. Uh, we're celebrating uh, one of UTEP's greatest uh, student athletes of all time, and not just UTEP, but El Paso uh, student athletes of all time. And then the best women's coach ever uh, in UTEP history, Coach Adams, uh, is is joining us. So, Coach and Kayla, thanks for coming on. Awesome uh, Coach, I guess I'll just start with you. Uh, I, I know you and I's relationship uh, with you getting the job last year uh, and, and talking a lot about uh, your program here, the past, everything you've done here at UTEP, and one name kept coming up. I know you have a lot of names. You have a couple that work for you now as assistant coaches, uh, but this name right here sitting beside you uh, comes up a lot. Uh, talk about your relationship with Kayla and kind of how it started. Well, we probably don't have enough time and enough tape to talk about our relationship, but it goes way back. But um, obviously, we've um, we've had some really huge moments through the years of our program, and uh, Kayla was really a, a big part of uh, several different things. We, you know, we won the uh, the conference championship and uh, the tournament at Memphis to go to the NCAA tournament, and Kayla played a huge part of that, and um, so that was a, a huge huge accomplishment. You know, going to the big dance. I think that um, you know when we look back. Uh, selling out the Don Haskins and having two sellouts of 12,222. You know, Kayla was on the front of that surge. And uh, you go back and you see photos from those games. <clears throat> it reminded me of the photos I see of her at, in the Barclays Center with the New York Liberty. It's that passion, um, just that energy and fire that uh, she showed in big games at the biggest moment on the biggest stage. And uh, so she's played a huge part in that in her career. She's, she's a champion. She's a winner. Um, but really, when I think about what she was when she came in as a freshman, and how she evolved from her freshman year through her senior year, um, <clears throat> was really a lot of hard work that she put into it and her passion. And then the same thing in her pro career. She's, she's done the same thing as a pro from in the beginning to where she's evolved to now. She's. She's one of these athletes and, and, and players that just has continued to grow and grow and get better and get better and get better. And it's a reflection of her phenomenal work ethic. And everything that's happened in her career, it's all because of her hard work. And uh, so for me, I'm extremely happy for her because I know how much blood, sweat, and tears this young lady's put in this to become who she is as a player today. That's awesome, man. That's yeah. the ultimate compliment, obviously, oh, man. from a head coach. But, okay, let's talk about like kind of your uh, basketball journey. When did you kind of fall in love with basketball, or how did that start? Um, yeah, so I, at first, basketball wasn't my sport. Um, I was a track and field person. What did you and do in track? So I did like the 400 meter hurdles, the 100 hurdles. I did long jump, triple jump. Did it every, all. Every everything. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> right. Great athlete. <laughs> so I did that. So I didn't really start getting serious until probably like my junior year, senior year of high school, and then that's kind of where like God, you know, led me. And um, you know, I didn't do. I wasn't your typical like AAU person where I, you know, my parents paid for AAU when I traveled. I, I didn't do no travel ball or anything like that. So. I guess God just opened up doors and um, I wanted to stay home and I don't think I got an offer yet from UTAP until like my senior year when they came out and um, they watched one of my, like my superior games where I had scored like 54 points and that's when they had offered me to come and That was a probably easy decision for Coach Adams, right? Yeah. <laughs> After well, 54 there, points. I have to, I, well, I have to tell you, there was, a, there was a, you know how when you watch somebody play, there was a defining moment, something that happened that made me go, yep. I'm going to offer it. It wasn't the 54 points. You'll be surprised at this. She went up for a rebound yeah. and, and grabbed the ball. And I mean, put a <laughs> palm on it and then here. And I was sitting up high and like, I could hear it like smack, smack. Like, and I went, whoa, like that rebound. That one play right there, just I was something. like, oh, yeah, we're, yeah. I'm going to Isn't gonna that funny? I'm this. recruiting. Like, you always go, there's scores, there's rebounders, there's assists, there's points. You look for different yeah. things, but then. Or certain moments certain or certain moments, things. You always know, like, yeah. hey, that's, that attracts me to that, to that student yeah, athlete. Yeah, I remember that student, one. Yeah, he had yeah. this one monster yeah. rebound that I was like, all right, yep, that, was, that sealed the deal for me. Did y'all make the playoffs at Irving High School in basketball? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah yes, like, sir. Good, good year. Yeah, yeah um, we didn't go too, too far, but it was kind of like the most that 
Urban has ever yeah, had. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Urban's obviously had a track record, like doing some history on you. Uh, I didn't realize the track record of Irving High School uh, of the student athletes that have come out of there, mm -hmm. especially when they nominated you. Big night last week, right? Yes. Uh, was it your number? Uh, retired, retired yes. jersey retired there at yes. Irving High School. So uh, <clears throat> you've had a big month here. Yeah, I have. It's, it's, it's been a blessing. It's been a, a very emotional roller coaster, um, just trying to, you know, live in the moment and, and grasp all of it. And, you still can't do that, you know, and I'm still doing it. So I, it's just, it's a, definitely a blessing. Let's talk a little bit about your UTEP uh, career, right? And like, I think it's big for our student athletes uh, to, to hear and your journey to what Coach Adams said, like it just didn't happen overnight. Right. You know, you didn't just come in here right away and, right. and just take off, right? And obviously to be the superstar that you are now, it took time, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your journey. Uh, and we always talk in our program that everybody's journey is different, right? They're not all the same. Right. You can't compare each and other. So talk a little bit about your journey maybe through, through UTEP and then uh, along with that, maybe your relationship with Coach Adams. Uh, I, I know she's real easy to play for. <laughs> You know what I love about Coach Adams, man, is she coaches, right? Like, she's she's that old school coach. And, yeah. and, but, but, but what I respect when I watch her practice, she's so consistent with everybody, right? She with It doesn't matter who it is. Uh, she's going to coach you up. She's going to treat you the same. And she's a truth teller. And I respect the hell out of that, right? Because right. I think that's what, uh, if you want to be great, yeah. uh, you know, and some people don't want to be great, right? Because they don't right. they, they don't want to be coached that way. But people that want to be great, like yourself, uh, they take to that coaching very well, right. you know? Yeah, so, you know, when I first got here, um, definitely, you know, it was new freshmen, so just kind of just learning everything. I don't know if I started right away. You played a lot. Yeah, I played a lot. <laughs> she played the whole I, time. Yeah, I don't know if I started, but it, it definitely was a journey, and, you know, I'm so appreciative of, of Coach Adams because, like you said, she always kept it real. She always, I think she saw something in me that I didn't see in myself yeah. at that time, at that young age. So being able to have her, uh, you know, look up to her as a coach and also as a mentor as, as well, I think kind of helped me. And I think, you know, there's a lot of things that she's talked to me about and even Coach Ava that uh, they weren't big things, but they were little things that made an impact throughout my journey that I still keep. And I always kind of, when I get in them cer certain moments, I go back and I ponder on those things because it's the little things that will take you far, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So. Um, that kind of really helped and I think you know just her pushing us um, you know we had a I had an amazing four years with coach Adams um, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't wish to go anywhere else you know she's like a she's like a second mom um, and you know at times I didn't like her you know um, <laughs> definitely you know we had we bumped heads definitely uh, you know I can always just remember getting kicked out of practice with going you know yeah. going against one of her you know favorite <laughs> yeah, players yeah. you know and I got <laughs> you know I got kicked out but you know there was a reason for that and you know normally people will just you know get kicked out and you, that's it but that kind of like I think she did that for a reason and I came back and that just kind of drove me because I said she will never ever do that again but um, she instilled a lot of I think, you know, discipline in me yep. and, and details in me and mm -hmm. just the little things that I see her now teaching these girls as far as just rebounding in the box. Now I still put those into play now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, people don't realize it's those small things that were taking. You have to be very co consistent, consistent with those things. With those yeah. things. And I always said little things, little things make the difference. Right. Doing yeah, the little things make all the difference. Yeah, just hearing right. you talk, you know, it's something like everybody thinks it's this big picture. It's right. really not. It's, it's being really, really good at the simple, Small, easy, yes. consistent at those things, right, that yeah. make great players. Uh, you know, when she played players. with the Dallas Wings, uh, you know, one of the things that she got, she was rebounding like crazy. She, she was that hustle player, that player that was getting them extra, every game, she was getting them extra possessions, mm -hmm. you know, and I think sometimes players probably don't realize that when you when you go after those offensive boards and you get your team extra possessions every night out, uh, that's going to get you on the floor, yeah. you know. And I've always said this too that um, I don't think I've ever had a player who's had a great rebounding game not have a good game. Yeah. Think about it. You know, when you have a really good rebounding night, look what else happens when you do that a lot of times you're going to have a good game because you're going to get to the free throw line um you're probably going to get some putbacks yep. i mean and, and it also means you're in it you know you're in it we have a player on our team kevin clue um you know and he's a he's uh, we talk a lot to him behind the scenes because he's a rebounding guy. He's a mm -hmm. motor guy. He guards ball screens really well on yep. defense. He's a defensive guy, right? And mm -hmm. he wants to score. Uh, but, and, but I always tell him all the time, man, be good at what you're 
what you're good at, right? right. Like embrace that, you know, right. and I think yep. that's what you've done, right? right? Like you, you not that you can't score the basketball, we've seen you score the basketball, you hit some really big shots in the playoffs, but uh, it, it's not that you can, but you embrace what you did really Absolutely. well uh, and, and said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out that role and I'm gonna be better than anybody else at that role and look where you're at now, you know, right. for Irving High School to the night, celebrate you at UTEP to a WNBA champion, you know, and mm -hmm. I think that sometimes we have a hard time getting kids to sometimes I heard this every day, not embrace roles because everybody has, sometimes we look at roles as like degrading a little bit. Like it's not like, it's not, you know, like be, mm -hmm. be great at what you're really good at. If that's your role, be great at it, you know, right. and excel at it. You know, well, I, and think, I think, I think the that. thing with Kayla's game is, uh, well, I, I can just, I can tell you this, just playing hard. Yeah, she's a I winner. mean, you play she's hard on defense. You, yeah. you, when you play hard, good things happen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think the thing that, um, that Kayla's had that if if athletes and people just in general and whatever you're wanting to go after, I think number one, it's her passion. Mm -hmm. Number two, it's her work ethic. And then number three, it's her resiliency. Mm -hmm. This girl's resilient. She's tough, she's strong. Um, but it, it, if you have those three things, yeah. if you got the work ethic and you've got the passion and then you're resilient and you're tough and you're thick skinned and if you get knocked down, if you get cut, if you get you get chewed out if you whatever happens it it does not keep you from what still pursuing what it is you want to do and what you want to accomplish and i think that when i think of her those three things come out and it, it's interesting like i look at our players throughout our program that have that have done really well um, i find that those are three traits that's very the common denominator in a lot of them passion work ethic and resilient yeah, i'll have to write those down yeah. it's it's yeah. really three things that if you're lacking one of them you know because when you get knocked down or you, you know whatever it is you're trying to accomplish and something doesn't go your way and you give in and yeah. you give up and you quit on it but so easy to do. Yeah, yeah and everybody's timeline to get <sighs> where they want to be is right. different some people's it's quicker some you got to go through more to get there but she definitely has those three traits. Well, that... if you're going to be in athletics, you've got to be resilient, right? Uh, and not yes. everybody is, you know, right. but, the, but the champions are, right? Because yes. uh, you're going to fail, right? Yes. And, and to, to that, let's bring up a point like last year, right? In the playoffs, you didn't win the championship, right? right? right. You guys got close. Uh, they, wrong, uh, they won the wrong one last year. They won, <laughs> they won the Commissioner's right. Cup. That's right. Okay, they That's won right. the Commissioner's right. Cup. Right. Right. And I really wasn't liking that they won the Commissioner's Cup. <laughs> And then they didn't win it. And yeah. I told her this year when they lost the, I said, I'm so glad you guys lost because the Commissioner's Cup. The I want you to real the, win the real one. Yeah. We don't yeah. want the Commissioner's Cup. We'll yeah. talk about that a little bit. Like last year, you know, not having the success, right? And getting there, you know, but not getting over. And then kind of how that motivated you and your team uh, this season. Yeah, I mean, I think last year, you know, we accomplished more than I think what people probably thought we would. You know, uh, JK, our GM, put a team together that, you know, he wasn't sure how it was going to go because you have so many superstars and so many great talent coming in at once. So the chemistry, but I think we did a, a fantastic job last year of, of coming together and understanding our roles. And I think that plays a big part that even though we had these superstars, we understood the main goal and we took we had sacrifices and stuff like that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it you know, um, when we played Vegas, they had some people out and I think we kind of underestimated them not physically you know going in oh we got this but you know it's just a thing when you see their main player go out you kind of get relaxed without mm -hmm. even trying to and um i think that was a key and i think you know going into this next year that was one of our main focuses of like not relaxing and just you know putting the pedal to the metal and you know not looking back and you know looking at the job. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah. i also want to say yeah. something about watching kayla play all this summer that i mean for athletes and players to take note of is you know, it's also playing smart. Like the thing that I, I really admired, you know, I'd watch every game and Kayla didn't, did not hurt, she didn't hurt them. You know what I mean? What I mean by that is you didn't turn the ball over. You always played defense. You took great shots. Your shot selection was really good. You know, it's like, I, 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 I was always really impressed that Kayla came in, played hard, produced, did the little things, but there's also, I don't know that sometimes players understand, and I've talked to our team about this, there's, a, there's an importance too of, you know, having a player out there that you can gain trust in because you know they're, 
They're not going to take bad shots. They're not going to turn the ball over. They're they're going to play smart. They're, they're not going to take bad shots. It's like having a high basketball IQ yeah. and understanding. Um, to me, you know, your guys' team really came together, and those those pieces were there. And and I mean, I was I was blown away with the things that she did. Yeah. But it was also being smart, you know, and. Uh, there's a lot to be said for that. Oh, no question. I mean, that's why she's yeah. sitting here today and getting her, you know, right, uh, very right. tired. But, uh, all right, real quick, NBA, the, the WNBA Finals, we lose the first game. We have a big lead, right? right? And, and like we all understand that those are, those are gut punches, right? Yeah. Like when oh. you, we've been there. You would I not mean, have wanted to see uh, me that night. Please. I was you slapping the table. I was even, hollering. I was like, put the film that first in, game, right? I went right. nuts. I was like, <laughs> Oh, but gosh. to Coach Adams' point, resiliency, right? Toughness, right. Yeah. handling adversity. It's right. all part of a champion. It's all part of athletics. Uh, it's real world. It's life. Uh, you obviously got you bounce back, right? You come back in game two. Right. Uh, you get the victory. Uh, and and uh, talk, it goes all the way to game five, right? Um, but uh, talk a little bit about game five. Obviously, an uh, unbelievable game. Yeah. Uh, came down to the, you know, to the to the very end. But just just talk about maybe a little bit about the game, and then after the game, the championship, and just the the feeling of of success. And I've never been there. Yeah. Like I've made the NCAA tournament, like coach. I've won a game in the NCAA tournament, uh, but I've never obviously been to that level. Like it's got to just be so gratifying for you. Yeah, I mean, well, it's just it's a series for a reason. Yep. You know, it's definitely um, in those times. It's kind of like, dang, like we could have ended this series. But then it's like, well, if we did win, then what would the outcome have been? You know, so I think with us is just, you know, we had a thing where we just focus on the main thing. OK, yeah, we lost. But all right, now it's game two, you know, and we focus on what we have. And I think when you focus on a lot of main things, then you get to the main thing, which is win the championship, you know. So, um, you know, so with that, like it was just it was just pressing on. And, you know, even when we we tied the series one and one and then we went to Minnesota, and um, did we did we win the first game three? Yeah, we yeah. won we won game lost three by you know Sabrina's shot, yeah. and then game four we lost it by a, a call yeah. that they called at the free throw line. Damn refs! Always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, and then we lost that by two. So, you know, I think that game. I think I felt you know we felt good, but then it was kind of like you know it felt too too good. You know, and I'm kind of glad that we brought it back home and. Even with that, game five was just, you know, at times it was like, are we going to pull through with this? You know, just how the game was going, you know, our players, you know, you could see fatigue hitting yeah. in, you know, you could see that a lot of shots that normally would go in was not, you know, working for us. And um, I'm glad, you know, Sandy made the, you know, decision to, you know, go to her bench, trust her bench, you know, and I think me and Niara, especially Niara came in and played, you know, huge minutes, you know, especially here on the offensive side. and giving them a little more and then just me bringing in the energy and getting stops when we needed to so defense was big yeah huge. defense um, was big mm -hmm. so just be, being able to do that and then you know then we you know still we had another chance to redeem herself from yeah. the other yeah, night yeah. free throw line uh, free throw line and she hit those two to go double you know to overtime and then overtime was you know nerve-wracking because it's like okay well how's this <laughs> gonna go you know like, oh, <laughs> so when you know leo hit that three and then we had another two and we were up by five and you know then our defense kind of just you know oh, held it at that point and then just when the buzzer went off like it was just like whew. <sighs> yeah <laughs> you know and it really didn't hit till like till later on yeah. till later on yeah. and it's still it, you know it still, still hasn't hit, hit probably, right yeah. but just to just to, you know, to hear that buzzard and, you know, to say that we did it, you know, and the most most gratitude thing was, you know, my parents being able to yeah. to see that, you know, moment for me. That was just, that was very special. I should have brought it down. Uh, setting up in my office is Kayla's picture on the New York Post. Yeah. The the next day, yeah. the day after the championship, the, the Twitter, the her photo, yeah. she's on the cover of the New York Post. And I was just like, wow. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there there she is, you yeah, know, and yeah. uh, that for me was like, holy shit. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. was awesome. From that, Irving uh, High School to the New York I Post. I mean, you know, yeah. you're on the biggest stage yeah. in the huge ass city and you just won a national championship and you're on the cover of the New York Post. Yeah. I'm like, they don't get any bigger than that. Surely you have that, right? Yes. Okay. I got two yes. of them up there with their autograph because that's going to get framed. I'm about to say, yes. this city, that's, I bet you got a bunch of them. That's yes. going to get framed. Yeah. I, I sent it to her mom. I'm like, you got to get down to the newsstand and buy me some of these. <laughs> I mean, I was all over that, you know. But what an awesome thing. And uh, 
I want to say this about Kayla. She's always um, put her faith in God first. Um, I think that her trust in that is something that she's done that, you know, really um, has led her on this journey. And I've always admired that of you. And, uh, and I think that, you know, there you go from a young girl out in West Texas to the cover of the New York Post. Yeah. It doesn't get any bigger than that. Oh. And it doesn't, I mean, and that's, that's all. That's, Pedro could clap, he yeah. clapped right. too, man. That's right, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I wish I would've brought it down here. Yeah. I, I can get you a picture of it, so if you wanna, but. Yeah. That's, well, oh, what about the parade? Huh? What about the parade? Yeah, what about the parade? I think oh, yeah, the parade, the I wanna hear what your thoughts I mean, on the parade. Well, that whole week was just, you know, uh, you know, from, from the last game, and then we had, you know, the champagne, and yeah. then we had to wake up early for the good morning. And not the cheap champagne. It was probably the best yeah, champagne, right? Dom Perignon, right. or whatever they call it. <laughs> and then we had the Jim and Fallon. So it was just a busy, you know, a busy yeah. week. But the parade, yeah, I turned the TV on. She's on Good Morning America. I'm like, yeah. we're on the New York Post. We're on Good Morning American, and we're on Jimmy Fallon. I'm like, everywhere. Kayla's like, I'm like, where am I going to see her next? So, yeah, no, and the parade just kind of just, like, was the tip of it, like the icing of the cake. What like, was your favorite part about the parade? I think, you know, just me getting off the, the, the float and just interacting with the fans, you yeah. know, like New York really showed up and, you know, being on the float and dancing and stuff was good. But for me to get out and walk and just show them how, you know, appreciative we were mm -hmm. of them, of, you know, being our sixth man uh, this whole year. and just Crowds sticking, were great. Yeah, yeah. sticking with I went us. up there a couple times this yeah. summer. What a great And the environment yeah. and the, the it, they We did could a great talk job. forever on that, too. I mean, I yes. know Coach Adams and I have conversations, yeah. but just how how much women's basketball has just Definitely. exploded, right, right, in the last really two years, but really last year yeah. uh, or so. It's, 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 it's amazing in her sport, in college basketball, and then mm -hmm. obviously in the W, right. uh, NBA, uh, you know, but, but uh, it's, it's fascinating, right? It's obviously yeah. fun to watch. I mean, the women's Final Four was higher rated than the men's Final Four. Uh, the WNBA, the crowds, right. the support, the parades. All time uh, high. The all time high. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just think it's awesome. I yeah. think it's incredible. And what a great time to be, uh, be a part, part of it, of it. right? Yeah, you know, yeah. too, is, is, is making a name for you. So we could talk forever about that. I'm sure yeah. you, we could all get on our soapbox. And, uh, yeah. but, but I'm, I'm obviously extremely excited for you. I'm excited Thank for Coach. You. I know it's a big night. Real quick, uh, for our students and for the people uh, that watch the podcast, we try to talk a little bit about Paso. So, um, favorite restaurant when you come back home? Uh, what, what, what's what, what's maybe your go-to or a couple go? I want to get you in trouble maybe with one, right? So maybe a couple go-tos maybe that you have that you always got to get back to. Yeah, you know what's crazy is that I think my go-to that I have to is a Mexican restaurant called L and J's. That's a good one. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a good one. LJ's, yeah, a little tough to get a parking spot sometimes. Exactly, but probably it, not it, for you now. You're WNBA yeah. champion, right? You probably get, you probably, they'll probably get right. your own, uh, own parking front spot. door. Coach Adams and I don't have a parking spot here. I bet we could get you one though. Uh, I bet Coach and I could work that right. out, right? Huh? Wow. Uh, get your own parking Kayla, spot. Kayla, can we use your name? Yeah. Can we use your can name? We use your right. name on that. Yeah. We'll name drop we'll you. you. We'll name drop you. We'll name drop you. We'll go to go to Mr. Sitter and, and name drop you for that. Uh, Coach Adams, what about you? Favorite uh, El Paso spot. Well, it's funny. I love Ellen Jay's. Kiki's. Yeah, Kiki's a good one. Great. Kiki's a good uh, one. You know, I have a, uh, uh, well, I got to talk about the track one. Yeah. Oh, I love, one. I love yeah, to go yeah. to track one. The That's a great, you're not going to get wings, it. You get yeah. the best wings, yeah, track yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I have a great, I have a, I have some good memories with Coach Haskins at Rosie's Cantina. Yeah. You know, you got to go down to Rosie's Cantina. And, Kaylee, you ever been there? Yeah, no. You gotta get the, I got the Coach Haskins special. Yeah. Which yeah. when I first went there, I thought it'd be enchiladas, rice, and beans, but it's not. It's meatloaf. Right. It's oh. meatloaf. Nah, it's that Midwest guy, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. I it's can tell good. you some Coach yeah. Haskins stories uh, from Rosie's yeah. Cantina. We could be so, here another hour. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's always a place that I'm going to always treasure because of that. Yeah. yeah. What about music, Kayla? What do, you, do you have any tunes that you listen to like before games or music? Or yeah, I mean, it kind of just depends how I'm feeling. Yeah. Um, I listen to like a lot of gospel, yeah. a little R&B, Tim's. I don't know if you know that, this, yeah. that genre. Yeah. But yeah, kind of like mellow music. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you kind of chill out a little yes. bit before the, yeah. before the game. You know what's interesting? I'm interviewing some of our players, and they're all like that, depending on the mood, right? Mm -hmm. Like the different, uh, mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of interesting. We didn't have all that stuff back when we played. Right. I don't know about you, Coach, but. Right, we didn't have right, beats right. and I headphones know. and speak we had jukeboxes. But. We had, yeah, we had the the big jukeboxes. We didn't have the earbuds and all that. Okay. No. Well, hey, I know it's busy night for you guys. We're going to celebrate you tonight. Uh, okay. Congratulations! Yep. Thanks, I know Coach. Coach Adams is so excited. Uh, we're excited for you. Pedro's excited uh, for, for for you and. Uh, 
I hope you enjoy it, man. It's great having you around, um, and, and uh, love having you back. And, and again, congratulations. We're all we're all happy. I know there's obviously her and Coach and Coach Eva are, are uh, you know, they're just glowing from year to year. But we take pride in it too, uh, in, in our program and our university. So congratulations, thank man. You, thank you. Thank you. Great job. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach.